Let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly, I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. to stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. What the hell? Shoot that, bitch! Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery. So I decided to get sneaky. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, Donna. But where was I? Oh yeah. <clears throat> a lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. Friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back, back door! door. We got we'll you. cover you! Try aiming, you idiots! Truth be told, Near things weren't much better behind the house. Watch your flank! What are you I cut their numbers in half. But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. Up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. I'm putting you down. Can't hide forever. Damn you, It 
It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, you bastards. None the worse for wear. Deader than a rat in a trap! I passed Dirty Dave. And upstairs, I found Billy How and Charlie Baldry. Huh? You like that? Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept I on coming. Up all day. I think I got one. That's when Charlie got in. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side! Discretion was a better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Cyrus. Now, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Right. Making my way past the castle of fallen foes. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake.
hand that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reach those damn stables. And stepped inside, and BAM! Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on, how did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah, after I came to. The bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. <laughs> 